Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boy and Dillabic here. So, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about variable ND filters for your phone. This is the newer 37 millimeter clip-on 2 to 400 variable ND filter. If you have a cell phone like myself that has two cameras, you will be able to put this filter on. If you have more than that, you will have to get a different ND filter as this one will cover up at least one of those cameras. To attach the lens onto the clip, you just simply screw it on. And this is what it looks like on my Bolt N1 phone. It can be a little bit bulky, but that is a trade-off. As mentioned, this is a variable ND filter and if you want to adjust it, all you do is you simply rotate it from one side to the other and you can see a 2 and a 400 and you cannot go past either one of them. This specific package did not come with a lens cap and I highly suggest you get one as you can damage this lens if you carry it in your pocket. I bought this one for only a few dollars and it came in a 2-pack. Another thing I would suggest is that you get a lens hood. I bought this one which also screws onto the lens itself and it came with a lens cap as well so you get everything you need in one. It definitely bulks up the whole rig a lot more, however it is one of those things that will improve the quality. If you find that this ND filter is not strong enough, you can attach your own. All you need is a step up ring and you can simply attach your own. Links to everything will be in the description. Now let's take a look at some images. Now here's an image of some water and in this image I didn't use an ND filter and as you can see the water is very rough, it's very sharp, but it doesn't have that soft silky feel. Now here's the same image with the ND filter and as you can see you get that soft, silk, very inviting look which makes the image look a lot more interesting. And here's the same image graded in Luminar which makes it look even more interesting. I boosted the colors and played around with a few things. And here's some more examples of photos. And here's an example of what it looks like with video. This is before, it was a very sunny day, and this is after. And as you can see, it is a huge difference. You don't have to play around with the shutter speed. You can stick to the 180 rule and just have an ND filter and your image is gonna look great. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As you can see, having a variable ND filter or having a ND filter in general for a cell phone is just as important as having one for an action camera or a camera like the um, DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, all of these cameras, including our cell phone, have, uh, uh, well, have cameras inside that have uh, fixed apertures. So you can change that for photos, you know, you might be able to massage that around, right? But for videos, there's really nothing you can do except for increasing the shutter speed. And once you do that, you just lose uh, a lot of the quality. It becomes way too sharp, right? So having an ND filter, that's the solution. Um, again, it's the same uh, rule you would apply to a, um, an action camera and those types of cameras. So as you saw from my examples, um, especially with that photo, uh, with uh, the water, right? Um, you know, even with the photo, if it's a sunny day, you really have to increase the shutter speed and then you just lose a lot of the softness that you might want to have, right? Um, and, you know, in that case, you will need a variable ND filter. So, uh, my uh, suggestion definitely would be uh, so the one I got will work if you have a single camera for sure. If you have a dual camera, it'll still work like you saw in my case. If you have an iPhone, uh, especially the latest one with three cameras, or if you have another uh, phone that has more than two cameras, you will need something else because um, this guy will unfortunately cover up uh, at least one of those lenses and it's not gonna work. So you will have to find something else. Um, Whatever you find, my suggestion would be that you get something where you actually screw on the ND filter, um, not something where it's all part of, it's all one, um, 
you know one th thing that you clip on right uh, because if you can not screw it on then you can screw on other ND filters right so uh, like in my case I have my other ND filter which goes higher than 400 so with the step up ring I can just screw that on here and then you have even more options available if it's a really sunny uh, day you know you can use something like that to you know get better images get better video and that kind of stuff and um, yeah it's just gonna make your uh, photography phone photography and phone videography a lot better basically the image is gonna be much more professional so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video links to everything you saw here will be in the description so check those out they are affiliate links so it doesn't cost you anything extra but it does help me it does help the channel helps me make more money so that I can buy more stuff and review it. Well, that's it guys. Stay tuned for more. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. All that good stuff. Thanks.